London, one of the biggest cities in Europe, with a population of 7.5 million people. One city consuming the same energy as the whole of Greece. A vast quantity of power that will increase even further as both population and demand continue to rise. And the London Array offshore wind farm in the Outer Thames estuary is one of the key ways we can continue to meet these demands. Delivering up to 1,000 megawatts of power and due to be built in two phases, it will be the world's largest offshore wind farm, eventually powering up to 750,000 homes and reducing harmful CO2 emissions by up to 1.4 million tonnes a year. The London Array offshore wind farm is being built by a consortium of three world-leading renewable energy companies. Dong Energy, who have a 50% project share, E.ON, who own 30%, and Mazda, with 20%. Together, London Array, along with their main contractors, are building the world's largest offshore wind farm, providing a reliable and green electricity supply. Cleef Hill, near Graveney, on the north coast of Kent, where a reroute of the Canterbury to Kemsley overhead line has made way for a brand new onshore substation. Designed and built to cope with the industrial quantities of electricity generated by the wind farm, the Cleef Hill substation will allow the power to flow directly into the national transmission system. London Array is a truly multinational project with suppliers from across Europe, providing the resources and expertise needed to construct all areas of Phase 1, including monopile foundations being built in Germany, transition pieces and turbines from across Denmark, array cables from Hartlepool in the UK, offshore substations from Hoboken in Belgium, with the electrical equipment from Manchester in the UK, and export cables from Norway. These, alongside a number of smaller local businesses, are already working together, managed by a multinational project team from the consortium owners, to successfully complete all phases of construction. Welcome to Harwich Port, where the foundations are being transshipped, ready for installation. And this is the Outer Thames estuary, 12 miles from the Kent and Essex coasts, where phase one of the wind farm is being installed a building site 12 miles out to sea with high winds, unpredictable conditions and variable sea depths, all posing a major challenge for our team. Once mobilised, purpose-built vessels, three with long legs lowered onto the seabed to create stable working platforms, will be used for the installation. Firstly, monopiles, long cylindrical steel tubes hammered into the seabed providing a secure foundation for the turbines. Once ready, onboard cranes are used to mount the yellow transition pieces onto the piles and grout is filled between the two to secure them in place. The turbines are arranged in rows and columns, positioned to gain maximum power from the prevailing southwesterly wind. Placed up to a kilometre apart, they're connected to each other and to the offshore substations by array cables buried in the seabed. Specialist vessels will lay over 200 kilometres of array cables connected to the turbines via J-tubes and then jetted into the seabed using an underwater remote operated vehicle. Electricity flowing beneath the Thames estuary to these two state-of-the-art offshore substations designed to increase the electricity voltage before being sent ashore via four export cables over 50 kilometres long that run right to the onshore substation at Cleve Hill. Laid by a specialist cable installation vessel and ploughed into the seabed, the cables run through the sea wall, where we've drilled and ducted four horizontal tunnels, so that each export cable can be pulled through and connected to the onshore substation. These cables not only export the power from the wind farm, but also allow us to communicate remotely with and collect data from the wind turbines, making sure the London Array offshore wind farm is safe and fully monitored at all times. Finally, the turbines themselves. 175 turbines, each with a 3.6 megawatt capacity, manufactured by Siemens Wind Power in Denmark, taller than the London Eye and capable of producing energy from wind speeds of just 7 miles per hour. 
Each turbine will be carefully installed together in six sections and each group of turbines will be energised, commissioned and tested once they're installed so they can start generating power right away. Spring 2013 and Phase 1 of the London Array offshore wind farm should be fully operational and being managed by our operations and maintenance team based here at the port of Ramsgate on the east coast of Kent. Not only our home for the whole period of construction, Ramsgate is also the base of our state-of-the-art O&M building, the home of the London Array offshore wind farm. Designed and built using sustainable and recyclable materials, and providing computerised control and monitoring equipment, offices for up to 90 members of staff and pontoons for up to six maintenance vessels. All to make sure that the London Array offshore wind farm generates a secure, environmentally friendly and reliable supply of power. 175 turbines. 630 megawatts of electricity. One great project the London Array Offshore Wind Farm, hoping to build a secure energy future for the UK.